and welcome to today's video. Today I will be showing you how to make a cute little collar for your plastic dogs or cats. Like this one little berry has on right now. Isn't it pretty? I like it. It's like really pretty. I... Right now I'm using this string. Some of the materials you'll be needing is string and some scissors and that's about it. Unless you want to be super simple by just using like little hair bands which is what I used in episode one. Um, tomorrow on Saturday will be episode two coming out. But yeah, before that, I'm putting collars on all these dogs and wolves. So there are three types of collars that you can use. You can use um, some made out of string. You can use some made of um, just original rubber bands. Or um, if you, I had a keychain with the American flag on it, and like it broke off, so I thought that if I took the rest of the keychain and put it on the dog, it might look like an old chain collar. So that's what I did with the pack leader blood. Doesn't it look like some kind of like chain you put on a dog? Like maybe an outside dog, you would like chain him to a fence or a, a dog house. Especially a dog like this. This is like an American pit, I think, or a boxer. It's a boxer. So you would definitely want to have this kind of dog in a chain. But having certain kinds of collars, like this little chain, could add to a character's backstory. So like you could say Blood used to be a pet dog or a farm dog chained to a post or something outside. Maybe one day he escaped and now he became the city of Alley Pack. So I do recommend using little broken pieces of keychain for dog collars. Especially, they also match their pers a dog's personality, like a very um, battle-hungry, feisty dog, or a very aggressive dog. Especially an aggressive dog, because that would give it a reason to have a chain on its neck in the first place. It also gives it a good backstory. Um, to give it a little softer backstory, um, or, like, look, I would do, like, the string, like, little pieces of thread or something, or you can also use rubber bands, but rubber bands are really simple, and they always look kind of thin, very unrealistic to me, so I do recommend using string like this. If you want to get the string I just got for my birthday and, like, had nothing else to do with it, um, let me go see what that is the um, label on the box said. Okay, so I got this ribbon from a little um, girl's bracelet box thingy. Like a little ribbon, stretchy, little mix bracelet string thing. It's called Sailor Bracelets Glitter. It's um, a little um, bracelet box where you make little bracelets and stuff. But I'm not very good at making bracelets. Don't make me make jewelry. You don't want to see what it looks like. Trust me. Um, I'll stick to filming with these little plastic animals. That's, that's what I'm good at. So as you can see, I just tied this little string around her neck. And I cut, cut it off. And you always want to keep some of the string in this little package. Or if you don't have a package of string... I just recommend using a very long piece of it. Um, you don't have to use string if you don't want to, but I like to use string because it looks kind of more realistic. It's got a little more bulk in it to make it look like a collar instead of just a flat line on the dog's neck. So this is what a band looks like. It just looks like a piece of string on the dog's neck. You could put literally millions of those on of the same color on the dog's neck and it still look like blah. So when you use a ribbon and tie it around your animal's neck, it looks more like a collar. So yeah, I like to use string, but you don't have to. I think it would be easier for most of you to use a piece of little hairband, plastic stretchy hairband, because that's probably more common to find, more easier to find than like string. You can use yarn if you don't have this kind of string. You don't have to have the same exact kind of string. 
I apologize if my voice is a little scratchy. You know, winter's coming, allergies act up. My dog um, found a dead Nutra rat from Hurricane Harvey. So back to the tutorial. You will need string, or you don't need it. This is going to be the tutorial on how to make a string collar. So you need string of any type. It could be a piece of yarn or long string. And you also need scissors to cut it. Because you don't want, like, a little thing left on your dog's neck. Well, unless you, unless you want a collar. I don't know how... I mean, leash. I said collar. Unless you want a leash. I don't know how leashes work very well. Because, like... I think you need a little latch where you can attach it and detach it. I don't think that would work the way I'm using it, but I'm sure y'all will find a way. Y'all might be more creative. But yeah, let's get on with the tutorial. So I will be using... So first you need a model. Well, you don't just pick the animal you want to put the collar on. Because the collars, they just come on and come off. Look. I can pull Hazel's collar off and it'll just, like, I'll have to tie it back there again. That's how my collars work. And if you want the collar to be able to take and, be taken off and taken and put on easily, I would recommend using the simple hair bands. Much easier. So what you want to do is you want to take a piece of string. I'm going to choose green for little, little gray. So the string I'm using is multicolor, so it might have a little bit of blue on it, but that's okay because his mom's is like a blue color and his sister's is like a blue green color. Where is his sister? His older sister, Ice, has a little greenish blue tie-dye color because of the kind of string this is. First, you want to first you want to take the string you chose of your choice, wrap it around the animal's neck tight enough. Let me put my camera down. It's like you want to wrap it around the animal's neck like that. But you want to make it tighter than that, BRB. Okay, so once you have it like looped around your animal's neck like that, you want to try and tie it like a shoelace, except you don't do the whole shoelace. Because if you tied it exactly like a shoelace, it would have little bunny ears poking out and it would just look like a, another bulkier piece of string on the dog's neck. So you want to kind of make it look like Fires or maybe Sophie's. Um, I'll say Hazel because her wolf pulp col plastic color is easier to see. And she also has a very easy to see collar on. Now I can only do it, do this with like two hands, so I'll let y'all guys stare into a bit of pitch black darkness for a little bit. So you have it tied around your animal's neck like this. It kind of looks like the first step you take in tying a shoelace. You kind of like the wrapped around-ish. Now you're going to take your scissors. It doesn't matter what kind of scissors you have. And you're going to cut it. Um... Yeah, so you cut it. So now I have Gray's collar, and you can see it still has some of the little fuzzy ends of where I cut the string. But it really doesn't bother me in videos. If it bothers you, you can take the tiniest ever pair of scissors you've had in your life and just cut that little bitty fuzzy end that I have to shove the plastic wolf into your eyes to see. It's about as microscopic as a baby fish. If this kind of little string collar doesn't work for you, there are thicker um, rubber hair bands you can use. They're like they're like a string, but you don't have to do anything with it besides put it on the dog's neck as simple as a thin plastic hair band. I would advise using one about the same the same size or less than your dog's neck so it doesn't come out all puffy or loose to where you have to wrap it around your dog's neck a second time because that doesn't look good it doesn't it just looks like like if you put this collar with ten times the bulk 